Hmm. All right, well, there's... Um, It was really something. And it's very honest, isn't it? I don't know if the future will be bright. I think what's what's really special to me about this, and I didn't expect it to kind of hit me so much, is that it's like, um, obviously, you know, meant for me, uh, you know, sort of meant to be a message for me. It's like a bit of a, a reassuring hand on the shoulder that no matter what I do, whether I do right or wrong, that there are some of you who will just stay no matter what. And um, that's a really difficult idea for me to get my head around. Because I don't know. People moving on feels like a fact of life. And I don't know if it says more about me or perhaps the company I keep, but it feels like for a long time I sort of will fall into uh, a group of friends and it'll only ever last about a year or so. And then things sort of fall apart and then someone else finds me and then that falls apart someone else finds me and then that falls apart as well. So, I don't know. Sometimes I think socially my life can feel like I'm kind of balancing on balancing on a chair, you know, in the middle of a really, really roaring sea with a lot of bad going on. We always try to find little refuges that we can use to sort of take ourselves away from what worries us and what ails us. And I sort of had this experience where every year or couple of years or even less, someone would kind of reach over and yank that chair out from under me and I'd fall into the water again. And you'll forgive me if perhaps uh, this has me so hardwired that when I see uh, something like this, which is the hard work and breathtaking talent of many, many, many people who put their time, love, and energy into a practically fully animated, beautifully sung music video that seeks only, not for fame, not for fortune, but only to reassure me that things will change and that I won't have to worry about losing you. It's definitely difficult for me to get my head around. And it will take time for that to feel like reality. Because people change, don't they? But there's something so much more sincere about this that even in spite of change, that you will stay. And I can't really get over how that makes me feel. It's very special. It's a very special thing and I am just, I, I can't describe how privileged I am that I get to live that. After all that time of not really getting to have much of a place to belong, I feel like I finally do and it's, it's with you and it's with Luxium. And it's with my other friends from Niji Sanji and something about them 
and something about you feels more permanent. And I'll never forget, because it's a worry for all of us that one day we might have to hang up the cloak and move on. And I certainly hope that when my time comes, I'll get to do it on my own terms. But I remember when I opened up about that fear that maybe one day, you know, I might have to leave this all behind that some of you would find me no matter where I chose to go. And who knows where that might be. Maybe I'll reappear on a different channel looking different. Or maybe I won't. Maybe you might be following the indie circuit for some films coming out and you might hear a familiar voice being interviewed. Who knows? The person who knows least of all is me. Because it's been a year now and if you had told me a year prior that I would be sat here on top of 1.2 million subscribers with people writing, animating, and singing entire songs just to make me feel better. I wouldn't have believed you, even though I already was debuted at the time. So, it's a big commitment to make to promise someone that you won't leave. And... And I appreciate it from all of you very, very much. Uh, really, I do. But I think, from my end, I, I need to continue to earn that kind of respect and that kind of love. And so all I want to do is my best. I think that in the days that move on and in the days that come before us, I want to try even harder, and I want to think harder, and I want to, I think the journey begins with conquering my worst aspects, my disorganization, uh, my lack of thought, my impulsivity, to learn how to better take care of my own self in my own daily life and in my own house. And then, maybe I'll be able to eat better. And maybe if I eat better, I'll have more energy to wake up in the morning. And if I wake up in the morning, maybe I'll have more energy to get some exercise. And if I get more exercise, maybe I'll feel better about myself. And when I feel better about myself, I will feel happier to sit here and be on display for everybody. I can't imagine there are ma obviously there are some, but I can't imagine there are many careers that make a person more vulnerable than this one. I mean, movie stars have paparazzi up their ass every day and some people literally will physically become vulnerable by taking all of their clothes off on a regular basis and Showing it to everyone, of course, but I think for this line of work, while on the outside, I am lucky enough to quote-unquote play games for a living. My attitude and my happiness while playing those games will forever be on display. My life is now a matter of public interest. And so when I get sad, I don't just let myself down, I let you down as well. And I know it's okay to be sad, but I've definitely been more sad than usual and a lot more sad more often than I used to be. And so I think all I can do is to reach a point where I don't feel the urge to constantly signal to the internet about how bad I'm feeling and I don't feel the urge to constantly ask for reassurances and hugs and perhaps 
there will be a day when I can look within myself for that. And I would hope that some of you would be able to achieve that as well. Whether it's getting frustrated at a game and choosing to randomly end stream and feeling embarrassed for the rest of the day. Maybe it's trying to orchestrate uh, a sex scene in the middle of a very elaborate scene-filled ASMR and having a panic attack in front of 9,000 people. Uh, be, working this job means that it's not private anymore. And I can't sit around and act like that's something I can't sit around and act like that outweighs how much I love what I do I can't act like this experience is all bad because there is so much to love in spite of those negative consequences and in spite of the violation of my privacy in every in every moment I still wouldn't trade it for anything no matter how many changes EN grows uh, uh, has no matter how many more people join us no matter how many leave I don't think that'll change and so all I can do to say thank you not just for this song obviously I'm saying thank you for this song but not just for this but for Everyone who has done anything to support me in any way, really, to the people who are saying now that they've decided to take an oath that they wouldn't leave me behind. It's a strange feeling. But to say thank you for everyone who who has stayed and everyone who's here now at people who've made a project people who might have donated to me honestly even if you haven't subscribed if you're just sat here watching and you're just supporting me in some way that's enough and for you to say thank you i will try as hard as i can to take care of myself so that maybe by this time next year we can look back and realize that we had our greatest year yet. And in spite of 2022 being such a roller coaster, and despite imagining that perhaps it would never reach those heights again, I think it will. And I will try to reach it again. I will try to help us grow. I will try to take the targets off of your backs. I will try to help you feel more comfortable and happier to be a member of this community. I don't think there's much else I can really do. It's hard to know what to say to end that off, but if the time comes that perhaps I can't discuss my New Year's resolutions before the New Year rolls around, here's, here's, here's one I want you to try and hold me to. Next year, I want to take my health and my happiness seriously. Because I never would have imagined that everyone who watches your content and who hangs out with you in this way would be able to tell when something's wrong. Whether it's small things like trying not to wake up hungover or waking up too late to go and... Um, to go and work out or 
waking up too late to take my medicine or choosing to order takeout because I'm lazy rather than making something healthy for myself. There are a lot of things that I can do to help myself. And if anything, I think that the reason I feel more motivated to do those things now is because I'm seeing how hard you are working on doing things for me. And so, while self-esteem is a hard commodity to come by, I think that the way that I'll go about this is not by doing this for myself. I think I just need to do this for you. For the people who really, and I won't be able to talk about why because it's personal, but who at the, at the beginning of this journey really did kind of drag me out of the pits of hell. I am a demon after all. What am I doing on earth? Well, it's because you put me here. To those of you who are very dedicated to me, to those of you who have been here since the very beginning, I didn't expect to get so emotional today, but I mean, how can you not be after watching a song like that? So if I can't do it for myself, I will try to do it for you. And in the same way, I would trust that any of you who are struggling or who have aspirations for this year, resolutions, if at some points it feels difficult to do it for yourself, because believe me, the amount of times I've walked out into my living room and seen just the absolute state that it's in, beer bottles and takeaway bags and empty Amazon boxes just all over the place, and I just think, well, it's only me, I don't care, and then to just not do it. I'll try to remember to do it for you. And on your side, if you suffer the same kind of thing, if you can't do it for yourself, just like I described, maybe do it for each other or do it for me. Okay? Okay. It's definitely interesting how when I got into this business, I figured I would be doing streams to help reassure and lift people up but now it's you guys who are doing the supporting of me it's nice though it's really nice i definitely really appreciate all of this kindness and i will do my best to pay it back in return so yeah i think that's all i want to say uh, it's almost four o'clock so i've got some time but not that much to grab my train so I'll be heading off now. But yes, that's all I've really got left to say. So I'm going to try and take care of myself while I'm away for a week. And when we get back, maybe I'll be even more emotional because I'll still be uh, looking at those projects. Uh, we'll do a stream when I get back and we'll try to have a look at a lot of those. So yes, we'll try my best to do a lot of that. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves. Uh, if you can see your family, see your family. If you don't want to or you can't see your family, spend time with friends. And if you can't spend time with friends, try and make a friend in this community. And if you're a little too nervous to do that, be good to yourself. Make sure you eat well. You go to sleep on time. You keep yourself washed and clean and dressed. And you be the kind of person that you would want me to know. In other words... All I want is for you to have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I'll see you in a week. Oh, go on then.